Hey, it's Mr. Xirish here with another battle gameplay. Today we find ourselves at the Battle of Brussels um, between the French Republic and Prussia. Leading the forces of the French Republic today is General Jean Serrier, and leading the forces of Prussia today is Gebhard von Blücher, a very famous Prussian general and respected general. Um, in this battle today, things are going to go pretty fast. Um, I didn't... The, uh, Oh, yeah, um, Prussia invaded Brussels and took over Brussels just north of uh, north east of Paris and I had an army who just reclaimed the regions that were previously lost of Normandy and Brittany so he came from the uh, west and is now trying to attempting to reclaim Brussels for the French Republic and in doing so we had to deploy first so I really wasn't I'm trying to be aggressive in this battle because um, they have a little more some more troops than me so um I uh, decided I wasn't able to really, you know, place my artillery right and stuff. So I'm really playing this battle um, in reaction to what the, how the Germans placed their or Prussia placed their um, soldiers. So they really bunched up inside the town. So that's why I'm kind of moving. I've in my army today. I have a lot of battalions of uh, in the French army today. I have a lot of battalions of conscripts in part. But I do I do have one very strong three battalion unit or units I should say, which are two one battalion of grenaders and two battalions of line infantry regiments of the guards of Paris, which are uh, much better than conscripts of the empire, but I have like th uh, three other three battalion groups of conscripts. Um, for um, so cavalry I have one of dragoons and two units of hussars. Let's see, one's away over there. Where's the other one? Somewhere over here. Um, I don't know, we'll find it. Oh, they're, they're kind of hiding in the forest right here. But we're really reacting to what the Prussia, Prussia has, Prussia is going to do today. Um, but as you can see, as right now, they, they're they kind of not really moving. They were bunched up in the town to start off with, so they have some battalions coming up through the forest. So, And I only have two artillery units. I have an 8-pounder and another 8-pounder. Um, let's see, since the battle, the sec since the second battle of Milan, which was about one or two rounds ago, two uh, turns ago, um... I obviously won the second battle of Milan if you watch that. Um, I reclaimed the regions of Brittany and Normandy which were lost and uh, I briefly lost the region of Torino. Um, you may remember the battle of Turin um, which is just west of Milan but because the Austrian army if you remember where they were stationed before the battle of Milan there's reinforcements they kind of swooped under Milan and took over Torino but I was able to reclaim them quickly um, with, with an army led by Napoleon and it wasn't really a fun battle so I'm not gonna put it up here. So that's basically all that's happened, really. Um, you can see a all a cavalry attack here. That's why I had to decide to set up my artillery right, right away to try to grape shot that um, um, unit of cavalry f f uh, for Prussia. Um, so what my general idea here is that I was going to bring these units of uh, my kind of my best units, really, my grenaders and two units of guards of Paris, down all the way here to kind of flank them and take over the town in hopes that my units over here will be able to hold them in the center and then that these this unit once they kind of go down by here by the town I'll probably give, be able to take out the artillery and then come up from behind and kind of squeeze them and get a triangle uh, way of firing going so that was really my main idea um, general's gonna be moving a lot around a lot today based on who needs it um, I have a cavalry way over here just really so they don't get hit by any artillery fire as you can see it's raining so there's a lot bigger chance of misfire by artillery and by infantry alike. Um, yeah, you saw right there. Let's see how our artillery is doing. Hopefully they can get grape shot enough to um, get these Jaggers who are very accurate. And hopefully this little light infantry battalion. It appears they are charging or not, maybe. Let's see, and then they got a couple battalions coming over here and they are really charging getting there fast, but I have some grape shot here that help me able to take them out. And my artillery I already lost over nine men. So that's not good. There comes my our um, second like cavalry division of hussars. Seventy-five men strong, so very strong. And they're gonna tr probably take out this little uh, unit of light infantry and these jigars. Um, as you can see, things were pretty hectic. That's why everyone's just bunched up. And the general is just kind of here for morale support. Um, and they're kind of just moving their troops up the center through the forest. And they have a whole uh, kind of right wing, of, right prong of attack over here. 
And I kind of have like three, I guess, reserves you would say, but they're just conscripts, so they're not much of reserves. Um, they do have howitzers, as you can see. These are mortar blast um, from shelling rather than just normal cannonballs. Um, what else is going on? So hopefully the goal is to kick them out of Brussels and maybe if they're weak again, destroy their army or just hope that they leave uh, northeastern uh, France. Because since I've kind of been wrapping things up lately in Italy, I can move an army up to alsace lorraine or more so maybe to reclaim Clive's Mark and eventually Hanover which was a victory region defined by the missions prior to the revolutionary campaign along with uh, Hanover, Dublin, or Ireland, and Austria. Let's see, so my artillery is already lost. Nine men. That grape shot's really making it... Really hurting them. But they're not losing morale. There's General Von Blucher, a very big morale booster for... He is the highest ranking general in the Prussian forces, just like Napoleon for France. Um, this unit of light infantry. I'm bringing my uh, conscripts up just to keep fire down, because as you can see, they're kind of moving some other battalions of infantry out of the force over here. My cavalry is kind of being chased. Kind of be, my hussars are kind of, be cha are kind of being chased around by their uh, guard to corps, which are very strong cavalry. And the bad thing about the conscripts is they cannot form squares, so you cannot like lead my cavalry away and try to run them into the squares. Only my uh, only these three battalions over here can form squares, not conscripts. It's another flaw of conscripts. Well, it appears they have charged my artillery. No, well, not yet. They still got 18. But they're almost too close for artillery to make an effect on that many people. But still is killing them. They're charging my conscripts, and that's not going to look good. My conscripts. I do have my general nearby, I believe. Yep, he's right here. Let's see. I don't I'm not a big fan of cavalry on cavalry fights. I don't even know why, I just don't. It's still raining, so that brings a chance of misfire. I formed these three units into squares and that really propelled this cavalry attack of uh, like cavalry hussars, 75 strong, they've lost over half their force, so that worked out well. Those are some strong squares. Bringing the uh, three battalions of uh, conscripts just behind them, they'll give covering fire. This artillery is still firing strong, and wow, you can really see there's some fighting going on here. Um, Our men are running, let's see, I have some running conscripts already. Some Jagars are just trying to take out those conscripts. Losing morale over here. The sh you can see that those kind of sparks. That was the shelling done by their Holwitzers, which are still located in town. And now these units are coming under cavalry attack. And that's conscripts are almost always going to lose against any sort of cavalry attack. You can see they have, they're already retreating. So my right wing, this wing is very strong, but um, they're beginning to fall to the Prussian. Um, Our um, men are running, sir. Advance. Yeah. So this was the point when I kind of see it, yeah, the artillery right there is is gone. No more artillery. And you can see my uh, is it cavalry retreating. No, that's just foot artillery. And as you can see, this is at the point when I just tried to bring these uh, units of infantry back over here to kind of join up with these this kind of wing of a, a attack or wing of my army because as you can see this um, portion of the army isn't faring too well we already got about three or four retreating units and they're probably not going to come back usually the conscripts aren't good at coming back kind of making the general staff leave because they might play an important part running, later in the battle yeah you can see this cavalry attack is just wiping out um so what i did here is i'm took out because as you can see right here they're kind of they don't have a good field of aim like this can right here can only go straight ahead or else it's going to kill its own units so I decided to move this artillery aiming much more right here or not aiming much more right here but what do you call reorganizing uh, the cannon so that's facing in this direction much more to fire grape shot into oncoming troops because obviously they see this is the only part remaining of my army so they're going to attack pretty soon because everyone's really retreating over here and my cavalry the two cavalry units that were fighting over here my hussars were defeated by their um, corpse of heavy cavalry. Um, yeah, no really 
units left over here. Not my strong units, the Grenaders and the Amil, um, Guards of Paris are doing well. They would fend off that cavalry charge. Um, I still have two units of cavalry, I believe. Yep, over here, and the one that's still in the forest. Or where are they? Let's see how many cavalry I have left. Whatever. I'm having this cavalry quickly attack their light infantry. They're only what 69 strong, so they'll be able to um, force them to retreat. And my dragoons over here are attempting to go into town to um, just wipe out their artillery because, as you can see, they're not guarded at all. So what I was going to do here is, um, I, well, what I was going to do is take all these troops and go into town. Because that's a, pl I mean, this, those dragoons are going to wipe out their artillery, so there would be no, no one defending town, so it would be a good place to defend an oncoming attack. But I realized that I'm going to have three units of infantry here, actual infantry, not conscripts, and what, like, two or three units of conscripts and two units of cavalry. I have a pretty good chance and this artillery unit that's kind of reshuffling and aim in that exact direction, I have a pretty good chance of ending off this attack from right over here. So that's what I'm going to do for now. But I am going to wipe out the artillery still with this cavalry. Both generals are still alive, General Sevier for the French and Von Blucher for, the Pru for Prussia. As you can see, yep, the artillery is getting ready to fire, and I'm just going to fire a grape shot right onto there. I'm surprised that those conscripts were able to fend off that cavalry attack. That was a good job. Hopefully they can run to get out of the way. Yep, they can run to get out of the way if they're getting grape shot. They have to reload first. But, yeah, this is when I realized I'm in a pretty good position. These I have three battalions of infantry here, three battalions of conscripts, and artillery. I mean, my... You may remember before my like entire right wing of defense uh, surrendered or retreated. I did kill a lot of their troops, so that is another reason for them being in this good position now. Let's see how the dragoons are doing over here. Let's see, they're wiping out this unit of artillery. They already wiped out one. Some charging line infantry, and they still have some heavy cavalry. The ones that got rid of my hussars. So hopefully they attack that Grenadier Battalion so I can just put them in squares. They're not deciding whether or not they're going to attack. <laughs> I wasn't able to get them in a square in time, but I put this unit up down the uh, guards of Paris in the square as well to help out. Squares always are able to defend the cavalry, because cavalry is way too strong. Because they simply just stick out their bayonets and they're able to fend off the cavalry. And I brought in this, the Hussars just to help out to make sure they get wiped out. Um, the Dragoons, which I had... F where did the Dragoons go? Hmm, I don't know where I put them. I might have brought them into the forest. Well, we'll find them in a little bit. Well, I think I had them come and attack these Jigars. Because as you can see, my grape shot was able to kind of wipe out they're approaching infantry. You can really see all the carnage. My conscripts and the dead horses. Especially over here where there's a lot of grape shot. Sorry, it's a little laggy. When my computer is good, but can't handle stuff this close. I can handle it, but. Although carnage there. The von Blucher, general of the uh, Prussia, is still kind of over here with the unit of uh, Hussars, so I don't really know what they're doing. It's gonna be gonna kind of be annoying at the end if I take this town. Look at my dragoons. They're oh, they're there. They're killing that line of infantry battalion of Swiss. Looks like they got some Swiss troops, and they are surrendering. 
So town is really mine for the taking. I'll um, we'll probably have them attack these Jagars. So we got some Jagars and some armed citizenry. So the battle is pretty much won. Besides those two units, the general staff and the cavalry over there. So a fast-moving battle, a very reactionary battle. I was um, didn't really plan on this happening, but it's a consequence of warfare. And they are retreating now, so um, we'll fast forward to here to see what happens. Artillery is gonna continue to fire, and I'm gonna move them up here, so like because these units aren't attacking me or retreating; they're just kind of hanging out over there. So we're gonna have to put an end to them meandering about over there. So I'm going to move my uh, main three forces of line infantry and the grenaders into town, along with two units of cavalry. And I'm going to move the conscripts um, and the artillery in general, Sirier, to meet up with their forces that remain. So uh, since nothing really happens until I meet up with them, I'm going to fast forward um, until we meet their remaining forces. As you can see, I have my um, artillery and general staff kind of placed here. I'm just shelling their general staff now with my artillery. Uh, it's still raining, so hopefully there won't be too many misfires. I'm just bringing these three battalions of conscripts to meet up with their general staff. Um, there is a cavalry unit remaining, but I think they're hiding in one of these forests. forests so we'll probably see them in a little bit. Um, I've taken town and defensive positions. I had the Grenadiers take this farmhouse. And I had Midnight Paris, the guard, one of the guards of Paris, um, go in front of the church, and another. Where did I put them? I brought them this other farmhouse, and I have two units of cavalry back here, just in case something random happens out there. Yep. See now the other cavalry. Oh, not quite yet. Um, yeah, you can really see all the damage done during the course of battle. Well, this is a very heated place. A lot of grape shot. A lot of grape shot means a lot of blood. My artillery is actually hitting them. Only 11 men remain in general staff. Yep, there goes the cavalry. Um, they still have 64 men. Hussar says that's a pretty big unit of artillery. So, looks like they're charging my conscripts, which do not take cavalry charges very well. I'm just going to have them stop and shoot a couple and just try to charge them. And uh, went out three units of conscripts versus a large unit of Hussars. I'm bringing general staff over in case any morale boost is needed. Let's see, they should get going pretty soon. Well, they'll, they'll come over here in a little bit. The general staff is kind of hanging out there too. So we'll kind of... Hopefully we'll come out on top on this mesh of fighting. But there comes my general staff. Hopefully there won't be any friendly fire either from my artillery. Their general's still not dead. One of these people is still alive. And the general staff are retreating, and the cavalry are retreating. I gave them a little morale boost at the end to help out. Let's see if we can find Blucher. We cannot, but that is the end of the battle. So that is a victory for the Battle of Brussels, Brussels for the uh, French forces. I had about 700 more men in them, but their men were much more skilled, but we were able to come out on top. Um, we had about equal amount of losses and equal amount of enemy killed, pretty much, so it was a very uh, battle, gameplay oriented battle. Or I should say, um, movements rather than kills and deaths and numbers. Um, let's see, it looks like the most kills were done by the 8-pounder uh, cannons and the other 8-pounders. So those are the battle units of the day for the Battle of Brussels, victory over von Blucher of the Russian Empire. So hopefully they will retreat and I'll be able to kick them out of northern eastern France. Um, so other than that, this is Mr. Oxyrus. Thanks for watching. I'll have another battle out soon. Thanks for watching.